Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. In this short tutorial, I would like to address issues relating to low Cronbach's alpha reliability um, coefficient or value. So what happens when you run your Cronbach's alpha reliability analysis and you do not achieve the required threshold which is 0.7 and above? Okay, as we already know, um, you need the threshold of 0.7 and above when you run your Cronbach's alpha reliability um, analysis. If it is less than 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, then you start expressing concern. So let's head to um, reliability analysis. And so I have two different variables here, uh, which I have collected data. So I have the entrepreneurial intentions, that is one to uh, nine items, just like you have here. And I also have entrepreneurial training, one to eight. So let's assume that I have collected the data and coded it into the SPSS, I have, like I have done right now, and then I impute the the results into the item box and then run the the analysis to see the Cronbach's alpha reliability coefficients of the item statements. So this is the result that I've got 0 0.218 with the entire nine items that I've used to collect the data. And of course you know that reliability analysis simply explains to us um how much the respondents ascribe meaning to the item statements okay so let us check the second one we select the item statements back and select the other ones in and then run and this is also was this is 0 0.003 and the number of items are eight so what do you do at this point so one way to go about this is to go back to the reliability analysis so i'm going to select this and then let's start from the first one nine items and then fix okay and then you go to statistics select scale if item deleted and then click ok so this analysis will enable you to know the particular item statements causing the trouble okay so if you look at the correlated item total correlations you will see that the inclusion of item statement number one has a very poor correlation then item statement number nine has low correlation in fact the correlation is point negative point two seven zero and if we remove this item our Cronbach's alpha reliability coefficient value will be 0 0.429 so let's head to the item statement so the first one is item 9 so if i go to the item statements uh, that i used for measuring the 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 variable entrepreneurial intention item statement so the number one the number nine is i regularly explore ideas for new business ventures so which means that this particular item had issues as respondent didn't ascribe adequate meaning to it so that means this item is gone and so I will remove it when I run the next analysis so you can see that the, the reliability statistics has increased to 0 0.429 but again we still see this so we will knock out the eighth one and then we run again now it has increased to 0 0.516 but we still have some bad ones so number seven and then you check and then we remove the sixth one 
So you can see we have achieved a good reliability coefficient. So we drop this and we copy this also into our study. So that means that these items are hereby removed. So it means that the item statements that contributed more to explaining entrepreneurial intentions among your study participants are these first five item statements. Okay? So then the first one said, I intend to start my own business in the near future. I am determined to pursue opportunities to start a business. Becoming an entrepreneur is a top priority for me. I see myself as someone who will start a business. I am actively searching for business opportunities. So let's check the second one to see the items that contributed to it. We'll go back to the second one. So if you are going for your statistical analysis further, it is these item statements 1 to 5 that, we, that you will now have to use for further analysis like correlation, like regression, and other parametric tests. So for this one, and we will still run the analysis again to know the ones we should be able to knock out. So when we go to analyze, you can see that zero point, we have zero point, negative zero point five five five. That is item statement number three. So we remove that. Remember, go to item number three. My education has provided me with the knowledge needed to start a business, so this is not adding up, so that is gone. So we check this again. You can see that has also improved a little. So the next biggest trouble is item statement number two, training two. So we knock out training two, come to the item statement, remove the training two. So you can see it has also improved. But again, item statement training number four and one are also having big issues. So we can knock both of them out. So that is leaving us with, that's leaving us with only four items, okay? And please remember that you can also go ahead with measuring your variables using the remaining four items, okay? All right, so, so that goes to say that item statement number one, two, um, this and this. Okay, so which means that only the following items were um, adequate for measuring the, the variable entrepreneurial training so in this case what you need to do is that if you want to go on to um, add up your item statements that you will use for correlation for regression analysis these ones are what you're now going to use to proceed to continue with your statistical analysis so this is the end of the short video just to help you to understand how you can deal with poor correlation when you got um, poor correlation results to deal with. Thank you so much for watching.